The Life of Po Ping, Kung Fu Panda Master Po Ping is the main protagonist of the Kung Fu Panda franchise. He is the adopted son of Mr. Ping and the biological son of Li Shan and his wife, as well as one of Master Shifu's students at the Jade Palace. He is also the foretold dragon warrior of legend and a master of the panda style of kung fu. Welcome to the Amagi, and today we're going over the life of Po Ping. Before we begin, we publish new content every week, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Po was born in a remote farming village populated entirely by pandas. There he grew up happily with his biological father, Li Shan, and his mother, until one day the village was invaded by an evil, power-hungry peacock named Shen, who sought to avert a prophecy by eliminating any threat to his rule. As his wolf followers slaughtered the pandas and destroyed the village, Po's mother fled with her son while Li stayed behind to try and fight them off. As the wolves quickly started to close in on her, Po's mother managed to temporarily elude the wolves and found a crate of radishes which she hid her child in. Mother and son shared one final moment of farewell before his mother caught the wolves' attention and led them away from him, sacrificing her life for her son. The crate Poe was in was eventually shipped far away to a village in the Valley of Peace, where the owner of a noodle shop, Mr. Ping, found the baby panda. Though hesitant to get involved at first, the goose felt pity for the infant and brought him inside where he fed him and gave him a bath, and as he continued to care for him, he grew to love the cub. Eventually realizing that no one was looking after the child, Mr. Ping decided to adopt him, giving him the name Po, and raising him as his own son. Since then, Po had been happily raised in the noodle shop, learning all he knew as a noodle maker from his adoptive father. Until the events in the second film, Po never questioned Mr. Ping about whether he was adopted, as both father and son shared a deep mutual love and respect. He did, however, carry doubts that they were related. In Secrets of the Scroll, Po grew into his teenage years with a lack of focus and of his father's skill in cooking which later led to Master Shifu getting food poisoning after Po prepared a meal for the Jade Palace, while his father was away on business. Afterwards, Po began to consider other possible career paths, such as a cleaner, comedian, dancer, or doctor, and made a list of them on a scroll. This scroll later inadvertently ended up in the hands of Tigress, who mistook it for a list made by Shifu of four warriors she was to gather in order to face the villainous boar. This led to her recruiting Crane, Monkey, Viper, and Mantis, who were quickly dismissed by Shifu, who also ordered the evacuation of the valley. During this time, Po revealed to his father that he had caused Shifu's illness, which his father took as good publicity, and was then sent to gather ingredients for meals to be served to the fleeing villagers. From the hilltop his father had specified, Po then watched as the future Furious Five battled Boar and quickly determined what he wanted to do with his life, practice Kung Fu. He later made a set of Furious Five action figures which he treasured for years, only for his father to give them away to a customer. Po attempted to recover them, but after seeing the youngster developing his own love for Kung Fu, came to feel that they had come to the right place. It appears that at some point he later created a new set. In Kung Fu Panda, Po had grown up into an adventurous dreamer who hoped to become a Kung Fu legend someday, on par with the Furious Five whom he idolized. However, he didn't think he could pursue his dream as he was an out-of-shape panda who worked at a noodle shop, which Mr. Ping enthusiastically expected him to someday run in his place. Though Po showed little interest in continuing this family tradition, he complied, not wanting to let his father down. At heart, Po was a huge fan of Kung Fu, as his room was decorated with posters and action figures of the Furious Five, and he would imagine himself as an unbeatable warrior who would fight alongside them. Po knew in detail many things about Kung Fu, from techniques to various weapons and legends. Although this encyclopedic knowledge showed Po as somewhat of an expert on Kung Fu, it was only in the form of a fan who fantasized he could be part of it, not as someone who had any real experience. It was seemingly by mistake, then, that he was chosen to become the Dragon Warrior. Po was ecstatic when he heard of a tournament being held to determine which of the Furious Five would be chosen as the Dragon Warrior, something he declared would be the greatest day in Kung Fu history. He abandoned his task of selling noodles in order to see the tournament, but couldn't make it in time as the gates closed on him, shutting him out. After many failed, desperate attempts to get inside and watch the event, including strapping fireworks to a chair and lighting them in order to lift him up and into the arena, Po was about to give up and go back to work with his father, when the fireworks suddenly shot him into the sky, flying over the arena. Po abruptly landed inside the tournament grounds just as Ugwe was about to choose who would be the Dragon Warrior, 
and Poe fell in front of the Furious Five with Uguay's claw pointed directly at him. Inspired by the panda's sudden appearance, Uguay took this as a sign that the universe had brought them all the Dragon Warrior. Everyone else, including Poe, was surprised by this. The valley celebrated and Poe was carried, with difficulty, on a palanquin to the Jade Palace. Poe was dropped inside the palace where he became distracted as he discovered the many legendary kung fu artifacts kept within. After awing at several displays, he was met by Shifu, who had objected that a flabby panda couldn't possibly be the dragon warrior, and the red panda tried to intimidate Poe upon meeting him, insulting his portliness, hygiene, and threatening Poe with the potential use of the wuxi finger hold, promising the panda that he would regret ever being chosen. Shifu afterwards led Poe to the challenging training hall where the members of the Furious Five were training. Poe, thrilled at being in the presence of the Five, who were all observing him, was nervous but eager to try some kung fu moves. But being an unwary beginner, he was hurtled, burnt, punched, and thrown through the various obstacles. The Furious Five later joked about his incompetence, which Poe happened to overhear, making him feel inferior. That night, after making accidental damages in the student barracks, Poe had an awkward conversation with Crane, where Poe himself revealed he didn't think he belonged at the Jade Palace. He was then given a rebuke from Tigris, who told him stern and straightforward that he didn't belong in the Jade Palace, was a disgrace to Kung Fu, and should leave by morning. Poe, disheartened, retreated to the peach tree of heavenly wisdom, upset and overeating, cramming his mouth full with peaches. Ugwe, upon finding him, listened to Poe as the panda related how he had doubts about ever becoming a Kung Fu warrior. The tortoise gave him some kindly advice, telling Poe that instead of being concerned about what was and what would be, he should focus on the opportunity he had at the moment. The next morning, Poe surprised Shifu and the Furious Five by not only staying, but by arriving first at the training courtyard to practice. Once again, Poe was put through a kung fu thrashing, beat up by the Furious Five and Shifu long into the day, but Poe showed no signs of pain or indignity, as he was so amazed by the skill he witnessed and only welcomed the privilege to spar with the kung fu masters. This optimism and sheer tenacity at such treatment frustrated Shifu, who even after literally kicking Po out of the palace, was unsuccessful in making him quit. The Furious Five, with the exception of Tigris, became impressed at Poe's fortitude and came to warm up to him more in the evening. Mantis and Viper tried helping Poe feel better with acupuncture, and Mantis assured him about his own small size as a warrior compared to Poe's. After inadvertently confirming his suspicions that Shifu was indeed trying to get rid of him, Viper and Mantis explained to Poe that the old master was not always so strict. Having overheard their conversation, Tigris shared the story of Shifu's past, involving how he had raised Tai Lung, who became evil, and Poe was rendered speechless. However, due to an unintentional mistake on his facial nerve by Mantis, he ended up making a spastic expression which angered Tigris. Poe later made the Furious Five some noodle soup, which he was praised for, and made most of them laugh when he did an imitation of Shifu, only moments before the master himself appeared. He announced that Tai Lung had broken out of Chorgam prison and that it was Poe's destiny to defeat him, also relaying that Uguay had passed away. Startled and frightened, Poe ran off in a panic only to be stopped shortly by Shifu, who despite his prior disapproval, declared that Poe was the Dragon Warrior. Refusing to believe this, Poe confronted Shifu on how he had never believed in him and had been trying to make him quit since his first day, while Shifu reminded Poe that he had chosen to stay despite all the harsh treatment. Poe revealed that he had been hurt both inside and out, but had stayed because to him it was better than living every day just being himself, and wanted so badly for the Kung Fu Master to change him into something better. When Poe questioned Shifu on just how he planned to make him the Dragon Warrior capable of defeating the mighty Tai Lung, the Red Panda admitted he didn't know, and departed. Discouraged, Poe again fled to food for comfort, and nearly ravaged the kitchen in the barracks, punching through cupboards and drawers, even doing a perfect split at one point, when Shifu discovered him the next morning. He stood amazed seeing that the panda had inadvertently showed a knack for kung fu while merely trying to find food in his distressed state. Shifu decided to use this perceived weakness as a teaching tool to motivate and train Poe. Led through the Wudan Mountains to the Pool of Sacred Tears, Shifu told Poe the origins of Kung Fu. Poe agreed to learn from Shifu, astounded and emotional from finally getting a chance to live his dream, and so began his first serious step in Kung Fu training. Poe was put through various exercises, from push-ups to 10-mile hikes, to balancing soup bowls, defending his own meals from attack, and a game of keep-away using chopsticks and a dumpling as a reward. Through determination and with Shifu's teaching, 
Poe's senses grew sharper, he became more confident, and in time had achieved tremendous improvements in body, mind, and spirit. But the Furious Five, led by Tigris, had left to fight Tai Lung on their own. Despite putting up a courageous fight on the thread of hope that morning, each of them was overwhelmed by Tai Lung's superior skill, but left alive as a warning. Crane weakly carried his comrades back to the Jade Palace, where Po and Shifu found the rest of the five all paralyzed, struck by Tai Lung's nerve attack. Seeing his heroes wounded before him, Po was worried about facing Tai Lung himself, but Shifu assured him that he could beat Tai Lung with the help of the Dragon Scroll. He retrieved it, giving it to Po and promising him extraordinary powers of sight and sound when he would read it. Po opened the scroll, only to find that it was nothing but a golden reflective surface that was completely blank. This confused and disappointed both him, Shifu, and the Five, leaving Po to believe that he had really been picked to be the Dragon Warrior by accident. With little options left, Shifu told the Furious Five to evacuate the valley, saying that he would fight Tai Lung himself to buy them all time. They obeyed, Po reluctantly leaving with the others. The Five split up to escort the villagers out, leaving a dispirited Po to seek out his father. Mr. Ping was glad to see him again, tying an apron around Po and talking to him about future plans for a new noodle shop as they fled with the rest of the valley. Having come so close to becoming the kung fu warrior he'd aspired to be, and being pulled back into his former life as if nothing had happened, Po unhappily lingered for a moment, his hopes crushed. Mr. Ping tried to assure his son that he still had a destiny at the noodle restaurant. Not encouraged by this, Po remarked that he sometimes couldn't even believe he was the goose's son. Mr. Ping, taken aback, tried to comfort Po by finally telling him the truth. The secret ingredient of the noodle shop's secret ingredient soup was nothing. He explained that he never needed to add anything more to ordinary noodle soup. By simply believing it to be special, it became special on its own. Astounded, Po took out the dragon scroll and found himself looking into his own reflection. Mr. Ping's words made the connection, and at last Po understood the meaning of the dragon scroll, the secret to limitless power. He made his way back to the Jade Palace, climbing the stairs, which exhausted him, and arrived just in time to distract Tai Lung and save Shifu, who was nearly unconscious as a result of his battle with the Snow Leopard. Facing Tai Lung, Po proclaimed that he was the true dragon warrior. Tai Lung laughed at the claim, and Po smugly revealed that he had the dragon scroll in his possession. This led to a back-and-forth struggle for the scroll, which soon turned into a battle that spread down into the valley, both Po and Tai Lung trying to get the dragon scroll as it fell from place to place. Po used his creative cunning to keep the scroll away from Tai Lung, even using noodles and a cart propelled by fireworks in the battle, as well as the same maneuvers in his game of keep away with Shifu. Despite his ongoing success, Po finally collapsed when Tai Lung met him with a powerful punch, pummeling the panda to the ground. When Tai Lung finally had the scroll, he was disappointed and stunned when he discovered it was blank. Po, as he was getting up, told him that he hadn't got the scroll's meaning the first time either, and explained that there is no secret ingredient, it's just you. Infuriated, Tai Lung threw down the dragon scroll and struck Po, but his deadly nerve attacks only served to have a ticklish effect on Po, making him laugh. Again, the two fought, Po besting and outsmarting Tai Lung again and again, developing his own improvised style in the process. Eventually, Po caught Tai Lung in the wuxi finger hold, declaring to have figured out the secret to the mysterious technique on his own, and with the words skadoosh and the flexing of his pinky, Po performed the move, sending a massive golden shockwave throughout the Valley of Peace and beyond, and defeating Tai Lung. When the Furious Five and villagers returned, they watched Po emerge from the haze in silence and became elated. The villagers cheering for his triumph, Mr. Ping raced to his son, overjoyed and proud of his victory as a kung fu warrior. Tigress stepped forward and bowed to Po in respect, smiling and calling him master, and the rest of the Furious Five in the Valley followed suit. Po was modestly pleased, but quickly remembered that Shifu was hurt back at the palace. He rushed back and found Shifu still injured, and told him he had defeated Tai Lung. Shifu weakly thanked Po for bringing peace both to the valley and to him, afterwards trailing off and closing his eyes, leaving Po to momentarily mistake him as dying, to which Shifu exclaimed that he wasn't. After a quiet, meditative moment, Po asked him if he wanted to get something to eat. He and Shifu later enjoyed a meal of dumplings by the peach tree of heavenly wisdom, overlooking a new day in the Valley of Peace. In The Secrets of the Furious Five, Po was instructed by Shifu to teach a class of new kung fu students made up of rambunctious rabbit children. Shifu told Po that it may very well be the toughest challenge he's ever faced, and left a dubious Po to teach the class himself. After calming down the excited group, Po told them stories of how each of the Furious Five learned the secrets of kung fu. 
When Shifu returned to check on Po's progress, he first thought that Po had taught the rowdy students that Kung Fu is all about fighting. But after hearing the children point out the lessons of having patience, courage, discipline, compassion, and confidence, Shifu found that Po had taught them well and allowed him to keep teaching the class. In Kung Fu Panda Holiday, it was the time of the winter festival and Po was informed by Master Shifu in the noodle shop that he was to host the winter feast at the Jade Palace. The Furious Five were surprised when Po told them this news and offered to help him prepare for the sophisticated dinner. However, Po was confident that he could do it himself and was excited about the chance to host the formal gathering. But soon enough, he became overwhelmed by the many tasks of preparing the feast and was burdened further by not being able to have his father come to the event. After accidentally rejecting and disgracing a rabbit chef named Wo Hop with the Hun Shu wave of dismissal, Po decided to intentionally dismiss the other chefs trying out for the feast by tasting and saying their dishes were awful, and he later offered the job to his father, along with the golden ladle, in hopes that the two of them could spend the holiday together. However, Mr. Ping refused, stating he couldn't be away from the restaurant and let his customers down. After Po told him he couldn't be home during the holiday, Mr. Ping grudgingly told him to do the palace feast, resulting in Po feeling guilty. Afterwards, in the palace kitchen, Po was challenged by Wo Hop to a fight to the death in order to restore his honor, and the rabbit chef made several attempts to attack Po and end his own life, the panda preventing him from doing so again and again. After several disasters, including the kitchen being set on fire and an ice dragon sculpture being beheaded, Po fell into despair, believing that he had disappointed everyone. After a comment from Wo Hop about Kung Fu being unable to solve everything, Po decided to call on the Furious Five and Wo Hop to help him in his preparations for the feast. With their extra efforts, everything came together just in time. Tending to a last-minute detail, Po left to fetch some ground jasmine and saw the village houses decorated with colorful lanterns, and was sullen at seeing families together for their own feasts. Later, when seated with Shifu, the Five, and the visiting Kung Fu masters at the Jade Palace, Po was complimented by Shifu for creating the perfect feast. However, Po himself was unhappy as he sat with his fellow masters, and found he could not enjoy the ceremony as much as he admired the Kung Fu heroes present. He explained to them his own traditions of having fun with his family, friends, and neighbors during the holiday. He then politely excused himself, much to Shifu's dismay, and then ran off to join his father at the noodle shop. At the shop, Mr. Ping was pleased to see him and apologized to Po for making him feel guilty, and Po offered to help him cook. They then worked together to make several bowls of holiday-themed noodle soup for the customers who cheered for them. The Furious Five and the visiting masters later showed up at the restaurant and took part in the festivities as well. Po also presented the golden ladle to Wo Hop, who had shown up to try and attack Po again, restoring honor to him in his home village. Shifu also came to the noodle shop, still upset that Po had ruined the palace feast, but upon seeing the happy celebration taking place inside, Shifu came to appreciate Po's decision. When spotted by the panda, the master was invited inside, and though reluctant to join in the feast, Po insisted, telling him that he was part of his family as well. They joined the others, posing for a group portrait, and Po was able to appease everyone, thanks to his unorthodox yet sincere actions. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.